Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Separate Ways with Moonwalker Morris. And at the end of the last part, we just finished the sort of battleship area in uh, in Chapter 4. One of the main reasons why I hate this chapter, and this is the second reason why I hate this chapter. This next area. If you thought the onslaught was pretty hectic in the last part, then this is just even worse. So yeah, we're back um, in the area where Leon and Ashley kind of rampage through in their, their truck. <laughs> that Ashley can ob is obviously qualified to, to operate. I mean, whoever, whoever questions. Um, the one thing I would say about this part is, uh, again, keep moving. <laughs> you have to take a few chances with this part, really. But just, uh, just keep going. It becomes a lot easier if you don't stop to fight everyone because it's very easy to get overwhelmed. Which is bad. So yeah, you want to put as I uh, yeah, another thing, you want to put as many doors between you and the the enemy as you possibly can. <laughs> as many animations, you know, like the jump and the kick open. Oh my god, can you just please pick up the herb? Thank you. I will sacrifice the flash grenade, I guess. Come on. I don't want to wait. Oh, see, that, that kind of thing happens. Oh, we are actually quite near to the end. That went a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> Cool. Anything that gets my full health up, my max health up. Ah, uh, more bogan bolts. Uh, can't use any of them. There is a reason I'm hoarding all this ammo. <laughs> Trust me. Can I pick this up? Yeah, I didn't realize. I thought that part was a, part was a lot longer. Um, obviously, I was wrong. Because we're literally like right there. Yeah, this area isn't that exciting, really. There are a few bullets and a flash grenade on, on the door to the right, but that's really it. And because our case is pretty much full, I don't really need him. Yeah, Leon and Carouse are battling there. One thing you want to watch out for, you want to get that velvet blue, but the hook shot is like... I always get fooled, because I always think, yeah, I'm just going to run there and press square, but... you got to run slightly past the hook shot before you get it. But careful not to uh, overshoot that. Because as soon as you get up, the scene starts. It's nice not having to fight Krauser as well. All for Umbrella's sake. Umbrella? Almost let it slip. Enough talk. Die, comrade! But there is a quick time event here. So make sure you're still in your guard. Ada! Well, if it isn't the bitch in the red dress. Looks like we have the upper hand here. <laughs> you may be able to prolong your life, but it's not like you can escape your inevitable death, is it? You knew each other? More or less. Maybe it's about time you told me the reason why you're here? Maybe some other time. And that is the end of that chapter. Quite literally. Leon S. Kennedy. Perhaps the most essential part of this mission. This story wouldn't be complete without him and his 
formidable survival skills. He has what it takes to survive against overwhelming odds. I've seen him do it before. And he's improved since then. Practically a genius, he has smarts and he knows how to use them. On top of that, his service as a government agent has toughened him up. I'll work behind the scenes to make him think he's the primary player here. Though it may be naive of me to think that'll be easy. Considering the involvement of both Sadler and Krauser, the possibility of unforeseen problems is there. But I need him in the supporting role for me to achieve my goals. I'll do whatever it takes to keep him in his place and make this all go smoothly. Of course, his role didn't exist at all until a few months ago. Back then, my role was much simpler too. But that was before the President's daughter was abducted and Leon was dispatched alone to find her. Talk about a major script revision. I don't think I need to worry. Leon's been through worse and always comes up smelling like roses. His consistent luck is part of the reason why I have absolute and unshakable faith in my vision of what's in store for him. Hey, hey, luck or skill? I don't know, I'd say it was a bit of both, but let's, let's not forget the skill. Anyway, that's the end of uh, chapter 4, guys. So I'm going to save it here. Thank you very much for watching, and in the next episode, we will tackle chapter 5. Um, probably going to split that one up as well, because there is two boss fights. So, anyway, thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode, guys, and I will see you later. Oh, and actually... Now I think about it, I'll probably put this episode up straight after the last one, because it is quite short. So I hope you enjoy the double episode special. Anyway, see you in a bit, guys.